up? Your girl Stacy here and I'm back for another vlog. Uh, the scenery is a little different this time around as you can see. Honey, I am in Miami, Florida for the first time. It's my first time here hanging out with my girlfriend Alex. Um, we're gonna do some art, go shopping, eat some really good food, and I'm super excited to bring you along. Today, we're getting dressed to go see, uh, we just got dressed actually, and I'm wearing just this all white, um, polo knit dress with silver accessories and some little, um, linen sandals, and I'll show you guys when I get a better chance or, um, to see the full fit but we're getting ready to go to the Winwood Walls which is like a mural uh, a collection of mur murals in the Winwood Design District area of Miami and hopefully we'll see some cool art see some cool murals and then we're gonna head over to have a nice leisurely lunch at the Little Hen super excited for that so if you guys want to see what we get up to in Miami keep watching see you guys at the Winwood Walls rundown so first of all uh, my dress is a white polo knit dress from this guided chain silver belt from Shein my shoes are some little ponytail loafers and you can't see but they're kind of like fabric um, linen so these are from Old Navy jewelry is Tiffany's and Macy's Old Navy and the bag is coach and the sunglasses are from a boutique in Italy Sorry, no link. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, what you got on, girl? Whew, okay, so set is from Shein. Um, shoes are from BSW. Bracelets are from a bunch of different places. Purse is Coach. Glasses I got off Amazon. Period. <laughs> Material girl. <laughs> this really has been cool to see. But I think you need about an hour is what you need, right? Yeah. You would say about an hour. Well, an hour is more than enough time. Walk around. Yeah. See the sights. There's some beautiful paintings out here. Very talented artists. I mean, we know that. A whole bunch of different styles and things. There's something out here for everybody, I think, that you think, right? Somebody will find, everybody will find at least one thing that they really like. Super colorful and vibrant. Some great photo ops and backgrounds. Um, one tip I would say is come earlier in the day, kind of like we did, we came at 11, which was probably like getting close to too hot. Too hot. <laughs> and then, um, come in the, either come in the early in the day or in the evening, because it is yeah. outside, let me tell you that. <laughs> it is overcast. It is, not directly it is outside in Miami. <laughs> So, <laughs> we're back from our shenanigans today. As you will have seen some clips of, we went to the Winwood Walls, which was super fun. Then we went and had a coffee at this random cafe. And then we went to have lunch or brunch at the Little Hen. Then we went to the shops at Brickle City Center and did some shopping i did a few light pickups but um i'll show you guys all everything that i got at one time and do kind of like a collective miami haul because we also have some shopping plan for tomorrow right now i'm just resting my nerve 
I'm getting ready to hit it for round two. Got to put the face back on because we have dinner tonight at... what? How do you pronounce the name of the restaurant, Alex? Bioli. We have dinner tonight at Bioli, which is an American-Asian fusion type of place. If I'm not mistaken. But... I'm also relaying my wig because of the sweat and that boho active. The girls told a damn lie about that boho active because, honey, two hours in this Miami humidity and my muffin cap was pushed back. <laughs> so, luckily, I brought my EVN lace um, spray in the red bottle. And so far, when it comes to this lace wig situation, I'm kind of new to the game as far as gluing them down. I use the glueless method, elastic band method. But I've been trying to, you know, get my arrogant tail on and figure out how to get it together. But so far, um, the EBN products seem to be the GOAT. So I would just put that out there. If you look for something to try, I'm going to just put that out there. So I used the EBN lace spray and then my hunger Alex, she used the glue the EBN active lace glue and the lace spray and her wig didn't budge so I really need to get up and start doing this makeup up and get dressed because we have a dinner reservation at 10 15 gotta be there um no later than 10 30 so we don't lose our table but I did want to come back and check in with you guys um if I didn't get a lot of footage for today that's my bad because I was trying to like enjoy myself and be in the moment and also like capture some footage for you guys. But I'll try to be more mindful tomorrow. We have two more days left and it should be a good time. So I'll check in with you guys once I'm a looking a little bit more polished. Alex, you want to say hey? Make sure I got my... Sweet treats put away, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Next time you sue me, I'll be a baddie. <laughs> Peace. This is day two. So last night, as you will see, we went to dinner at Bioli. It was like an Asian fusion type of place and a club mix. It was super fun. Great vibes, great energy. We went back to our hotel and kind of just crashed out. So we just um, woke up and um, got, got ourselves together a little bit and um, went to brunch here at Chica. in the Miami Design District. y'all sick of me at this point but so last night I was gonna check back in but we ended up not um, going to our dinner plans and just stayed in so it wasn't really much to see other than Uber Eats and watching reruns of Fast and the Furious but this morning we had a couple of errors to run specifically I needed to return something that I bought yesterday I have uh, no I bought Friday it was um, 
a perfume to Marley. The, it wasn't Delina. It was the one in the orange bottle. Cass. Cass. Casilli. Something like that. Um, it smelled really good. It just didn't have any like stand power. It was really light, like on the skin, no projection. And for the price point, it just wasn't worth it. So I took it back and ended up changing it for the Pen Halligans. Uh, Helfetti, um, not the Helfetti leather, but just the original Helfetti that my girl Melissa's wardrobe put me on to. So, uh, you know, it's a male made me do it moment. <laughs> and then I also picked up some sunglasses from Tom Ford. But like I said, I'll show you guys everything that I got when I um, that I picked up while shopping out here in Miami when I get back home. Um, Alex, what you got? <laughs> Um, I ended up getting the Gentle Fluidity by uh, MFK and got a couple of samples of Grinsoir and Deep, the Satin Mood that was recommended to me by my sales associate. And I also ended up getting whoo, a eye tint from Giorgio Armani that I'm really excited to use. So just a couple of things. Period. <laughs> so our next location is to um go to the beach or is it a beach or a pool a pool we have a cabana by the pool with beach access okay right a <laughs> cabana by the pool with beach access that we booked off of resort pass um it's not the most sunny day it's a little bit cloudy a little sunny partly cloudy i guess but for me if i'm gonna be laying out by the beach that's fine is that our car i know uh or what are we looking for oh we're getting in an uber a toyota oh. That's the Audi's not us, girls. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're getting ready to go uh, back to the hotel, drop our bags off, you know, do a little switch and change and rearrange, and head to our poolside cabana at the Hilton. Now, I'm gonna do better today because this is the last day, so I'm gonna get get y'all some footage of us frolicking by the pool and. Ooh, they got a sun child. They got a sun, honey. <laughs> oh, honey. My skin is feeling like a breath of fresh air. This is the first day probably in five days that I haven't had makeup on my face. <laughs> so, I'm loving it. But, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Let y'all know that I ain't forgot about y'all. That we still, you know, hot girls doing what hot girls do. <laughs> can't talk right now. Uh, keep coming along for the ride see y'all bye so we back at the room we just got changed and i'm wearing uh we headed to the hilton south beach the cabana south beach something like that hilton cabana south beach um for like a we reserved a little um poolside day bed so, and a bottle of champagne. So, um, I'm wearing a white oversized shirt from Target. My bathing suit is from Walmart a few years ago. It's just a one piece with a little belt. And then my linen shorts are from Old Navy several years ago. First time wearing these. I think I bought these originally to go to Italy, but they never did make the cut. So, yeah, and that's it for me. And then I'll be wearing my, right now I got on my house slippers, but I will be wearing my Steve Mattins with the diamantes on them. I don't know if you've noticed by now, but honey, I'm a crystal sparkly type of girl. Well, if it's got crystals on it, stop me up. And I think Alex is tying her <laughs> breast into her face. <laughs> 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 She's strapping her breast down, so we'll give her a second. <sighs> Just enough under but not the whole. And I tell you. <laughs>
it turns me into a little kid like playing in the ocean. I just remember like playing in the ocean with my brothers and my cousins when we were going on vacation and it's just, uh, it's so fun. It's literally so fun. I was literally squealing. That's how delighted I was to be in the ocean. And I just love it, so. <clears throat> it's so peaceful too. I wish the sun was out a little more and the water would have been a little better, but had so much fun. Hey guys, so as you can see, I am <laughs> back from Miami I know I kind of left you guys hanging in that last clip but um on the Monday or our last day there we basically just woke up got our stuff together and went to the ho uh went to the airport but as promised I didn't want to leave you guys hanging without showing you um all of the stuff that we picked up or, or that I picked up while I, we was there shopping in Miami so um I don't know, maybe my my Miami trip wasn't like as lit as the other girls are, but honestly, I didn't go for that. I just went for a change of scenery and a, to do some shopping and <laughs> see the beach. So for me, my Miami trip was perfect. I rested. I got in some good girl time with my girl, um, close friend Alex, who was there and you saw the trip and um i got some shopping done so with no more rambling from me um i'm going to get into the things that i bought there and yeah then we'll close it out so i'll start with sephora because first of all y'all know i love sephora honey i'm a sephora girl so i'll start with a few things that i got in sephora so first I got, uh, I picked up the faded cream. As you know, um, hyperpigmentation is one of my main skin concerns. So, um, I'm going to try this out. I've heard some good things about it, so I'll give that a go. I picked up the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, honey. Because this summer I'm going to be in these streets and I need to be like looking like a bronze golden goddess, honey. And then I picked up two fragrances and then one more skincare thing. So the fragrances that I picked up are the Replica Beach Walk and the Ness Seville Orange. Um, orange and citrus when it comes to fragrances are like my favorite um, smell like that really juicy almost make your mouth water like citrusy so um, Alex actually found this while we were shopping and I smelled it and I loved it so I picked that up I figured it'd be good to layer and then the last thing I got is the ordinary alpha uh, Arborton 2% and AHA Oh, no, with Hyaluronic Acid Serum from The Ordinary. And this, again, helps target hyperpigmentation. And uh, this is a staple in my skincare that I'm just replacing. And um, the Faded Cream is something new that I'm trying. So, since we are doing makeup, I'll just go right into my next bag, which is a little Chanelica Honey. So we were walking and we randomly saw the Chanel cosmetic store. Um, I don't have a, just a standalone like Chanel beauty store near me. It's either the Chanel boutique or like that's in like Lennox or Fifth, Fifth Plaza or it's catching the Chanel beauty counter at one of the department stores. So it was cool to see like the full beauty store and see their full range of stuff. But anyways, I picked up... Mm, she's upside down girl okay i picked up the chanel setting powder it's called the pure de universal libre girl i'm gonna mm, it's french and i don't speak french so anyway it's the setting powder if you're into makeup you've heard about this surely because the makeup girls have been raving about the chanel powder 
and for good reason this powder is so finely milled let me just open it so i can show y'all the packaging this powder is so finely milled it melts into your skin like silk um, I got the color in number 40 because I want to use it underneath my um, eye mostly. That's why I only use it where I put concealer at. I don't use it over my whole face. So they had a color that was a shade deeper than 40 that would have been good for my um, whole face. But I prefer to use like um, a MAC setting powder or mineralized skin finish or the Morphe pro filter powder or the fenty beauty um press powder to set like the other areas of my face and then i just use a setting powder for underneath my eye but this girl is so smooth and it just like smooths everything out and just like airbrushes your under eye i love it now it is 56 dollars which is probably considered pricey for a setting powder but considering the size of it like it's huge how many ounces is this it's um one ounce hmm. well anyway consider the size of the setting powder and um the small amount that you need i think 56 dollars is actually not bad for this because i'm seeing this lasting a very long time so next up let's go so that's pretty much was all of the cosmetic beauty related type of things didn't buy any makeup not one makeup product i'm very oh that is a lie i sat there and lied that quick because <laughs> i clearly bought the setting powder so scrap that uh i don't know let's go next into Saks. so i went to Saks um to do a little bit of just window shopping i wanted to um see a couple of things in person i wanted to see some of the fee noel things in person shout out to nika b um and just get a feel for like the material and the sizing and stuff so that i can like shop more online but i also had a pair of sunglasses that were on my list not any particular sunglasses but um sunglasses just in general so like a nice pair of sunglasses so i picked up these this pair from tom ford and it comes in a little case like this and they look like this so they're square which is my literal fave shape and they're big and a little bit oversized but i don't know i'm gonna get close if you can see the um lens is a little darker at the top and it ombres down to a light a color and it's not black it's actually like a brown color which i really like it makes this perfect for driving and just wearing um because some you know i think sometimes black tinted sunglasses can be a little bit too dark for when you just want to wear them um just on a day-to-day -day. but how freaking cute you know the classic tom ford t detailing on the side big kind of like cat eye it does a little cat eye because it goes out just a little bit on the sides here and then the ombre lens and then you can see like the tom ford etched into the actual lens love 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 and these are black and it's not actually it's like a champagne color which is kind of silver kind of gold and i just love these i've been wearing these non-stop since i got home and i get so many compliments on these my only thing is the case is a little small but i don't know if that's just me or if, like if i'm nitpicking so yeah tom ford sunnies the second thing I picked up whilst I was in Saks comes from a brand called Penn Halligans. And I learned about this brand from <clears throat> Melissa's Wardrobe on YouTube. 
and if you're not uh, not on YouTube, she's on Instagram mostly. And if you're not following Melissa and you call yourself a luxury babe, honey, you are missing out because Melissa's recommendations do not miss. I've tried a couple of the products that she has suggested. First of all, once she recommended it, it's going to sell out. So if you hear about it, don't think about it. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like it, if I'm going to try it. If you think for a second that you might want to try it and Melissa Wardrobe has posted it on her Instagram page, honey, and you don't, and you, huh, you're, it's going to sell out and you're going to be mad. Trust me. I learned that the hard way so many times. So, honey, follow the girls and get the tea, but better move fast. But, and she also has another page that's called It's a Lifestyle, honey, which was like her catchphrase for a while and you know my girl got it together and made a whole brand out of it so we love that for her but so yeah anyways wow <laughs> so talkative anyways girl so pen halligans is a fragrance brand a luxury fragrance brand and the one that i have is healthetti and they also have another one that's called Health Fetty Leather, which is a little bit more rich and like smoky. But this is the bottle. How pretty is that bottle? And when I tell you this smells like wealth, this smells like a trust fund and a yacht and vacations in the south of France. This Mm. if you don't know ask somebody so that's what I picked up from sex from Pin Halligans let's see okay let's go for coach so from coach it was pretty simple I've been needing a new belt um walked into coach and saw this belt and was like this is the one so the reason why i've kind of been on the fence about buying a belt for one i wanted it to be real leather and for two i wanted silver hardware now a lot of luxury or mid-range or designer brands they only most of their belts and stuff are in hard are in gold um, and I guess most people like gold, but I don't know if you can tell, but I'm more of a silver type of babe myself. And so I wanted to get something that was silver. So I saw this and I absolutely loved it. It's just like a simple um, Coach C and then it's on, on a black and red I'm from a little brand called Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. I might be pronouncing that wrong. It's in this Saint Laurent. And I bet you guessed it by now. But it's just the daintiest little card pouch you've ever seen in that classic um kind of chevron leather um quilting. It has two cards on each side. And then it has a little area in the middle that also opens. What I love about this is that it's, first of all, real leather. And, you know, as you use it, it'll stretch. Um, so you can, you know, add maybe two cards in each slot. So you could probably get a total of like eight, eight to six to eight cards in here. Plus, like maybe fold it up like a little a bill or something if you wanted to you know have some cash on you and put it in the little slot here and it doesn't have a place for change which I think for a wallet or a card holder or whatever I prefer it to not have a place with change because when I start putting coins and stuff in it, it just weighs it down and then I don't want to carry it and I just don't like it so I like the fact that it doesn't have like a little change pouch or a little zipper pouch or anything like that <clears throat> and also Look at that gold, that silver on black hardware. Oh, it's just so classy. Well, you guys, that is it for my Miami trip and for my um, Miami shopping haul. 
um thank you so much if you stuck around with me until this point of the video um it means so much to me that you guys come back and check out what i'm doing over here in my corner of the internet i know i haven't been as consistent lately for the month of march but i have a plan that i'm putting into motion so you'll see more of my face if you want to see more of my face and see what i'm getting up to and just like learn more about me and be a part of my community then please don't forget to like comment and subscribe listen the weather is getting warm and hot girl summer is just around the corner so you don't want to miss out on any of the tea I truly thank you for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.